Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a really simple, fast install of ScriptTook V. Some people say ScriptTook 5. Uh, either way, you need ScriptTook for most major mods that you download into your GTA 5 from trainers, emergency lighting system for LSPDFR, real life mods. There's just tons more. Uh, also, please note that ScriptTook does not work in online mode. Uh, in fact, I wouldn't even try it because it could result in an online ban. So let's go ahead and get today's video started. Now, script took is by Alexander Blade, and as of the making of this video, it's January 2021. The newest release as of right now is December 2020, and also very important to note that when Rockstar has a major update, there's a good chance that script took will become out of date. Uh, these are the aches and pains that single player modding has to put up with when dealing with Rockstar's multiplayer update DLCs. So just give Alexander Blade a bit of time to update script took. Uh, from my experience, it could take anywhere from about three days to about seven days. So just hang tight and check the link in the description for new updates and we're going to go ahead and download this and get this onto our desktop. Next, we need to find out where our GTA 5 main game directory is. I'm going to list three of the most common pathways that you may find it. Uh, please note that yours may be found on a different drive than what's listed here, but three of the most common pathways are on the screen right now. These are for Steam users right here, this is for retail users, and this is for Epic Games users. Once you find your main game directory, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next step. Okay, I'm going to pull up my main game directory. And what I did was I took the main game directory and I actually pinned it down to the taskbar. I would suggest that you do the same thing. And then also note that my pathway may be a little bit different than yours. So kind of, you know, take note of that. And then also this is the main game directory. This is where your GTA 5 exe file is going to be located at. So that way you're, you know you're in the right spot. So we're going to uh, I keep this open right here. We're going to take script hook. Now it's in a zip file. You can use WinRAR. It's a free version off the internet. That's what I use all the time. But you can use 7-zip, WinZip, anything like that to actually open these kind of files. So I'm going to go ahead and open this and you're going to see a bin folder. So my advice is to take this bin folder, move it onto your desktop, and then that way files can get transferred a little bit easier that way. And sometimes you don't get uh, error messages from uh, WinRAR or 7-zip. And so I'm going to go ahead and delete this out. We don't really need that anymore. We're going to take that folder and we're going to open this folder. There's going to be three main files in here. You don't really need native trainer. I personally do not like to use it. I like to use simple trainer, but you're going to get a den put eight and then the script hook. So my advice is to highlight script hook and then also left control on your keyboard and then highlight den put eight. And what you're going to do is you're going to get in a habit of dragging this right into your main game directory and you're going to let it fall. The same thing goes if you have already installed script hook and you're running mods and you're updating script hook, you're going to do the, exactly the same thing that I'm doing right here, except you're going to be replacing the old script hook. In my case, I went ahead and deleted it out so you can see what it looks like when it falls. We're going to take this and we're going to drag and drop it right into our main game directory. We're going to just let it fall just like that. And you just installed script hook pretty fast and easy. And uh, we're going to go ahead and head on out for today's video. If you guys uh, got any kind of use out of today's video, if you wouldn't mind hitting the like and uh, leave a comment down below, I'd greatly appreciate that. And hey, if you're brand new to the channel, feel like subscribing, please do so. See you in the next episode. Stay safe.